Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So the fifth generation iPad named as the iPad Air has finally been announced for release and it will be available on November the 1st. In this video we will do a comparison between the iPad 4 which was the fourth generation iPad versus the iPad Air which is the newest fifth generation iPad. So let's dive into some details. Now just to be clear iPad 4 has been discontinued so they're not selling the iPad 4 anymore. So this video is geared for people who already have an iPad 4 and perhaps are thinking of making a move towards the iPad Air. So first, let's take a look at the price. Now it's not quite relevant to give out the price of the iPad 4, which is in fact discontinued like we said, but prices do carry over. Where the iPad Air will sell for $499 for the 16 gigabytes of Wi-Fi model, and uh, $599 for the 32 gigabytes Wi-Fi model. And you also have the 64 gigabytes or 128 gigabytes model uh, available for $699 and $799 respectively. You also get a cellular version of the iPad Air. Just add $129 on top of the Wi-Fi model to whatever, whatever uh, storage option you want to buy. Now let's move on to the weight and dimension. Now there has been a change here. iPad 4 weighs 662 grams, whereas the iPad Air weighs only 469 grams. That is quite a significant change in my opinion, even though we're only talking about a bunch of grams. Now next we have the following dimensions on the iPad Air. It's 9.4 inches long, 6.6 .6 inches wide, and 0.29 inches thick, whereas the iPad 4 is 9.5 inches long, 7.3 inches wide, and 0.37 inches thick. As it is clear by these numbers, the size and the weight have gone down with the iPad Air, which is always a plus. Now we also get an overall refresh on the design. So the iPad Air has the same form factor of the iPad Mini, which has been on the market for a while. So it's a blowed up version of the iPad mini that we already have on the market. So next, let's take a look at the processor. So the iPad Air comes with the same processor found in the iPhone 5S, which is a 64-bit A7 dual-core processor. Now we don't exactly know what the frequency of the uh, cores are. So the iPad Air might come with a higher clock frequency or it may come with the same 1.3 gigahertz as the iPhone 5S. I personally doubt that. However, it does have 1 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Now the iPad 4 came with a 1.2 gigahertz dual core A6X processor which was 32 bits and it also came with a lower level 1 gigabytes of RAM. Now based on the benchmarks that the iPhone 5S yields, it is clear that the A7 chip is quite a powerful chip and uh, processing wise the iPad Air is twice as fast as the iPad 4. Next I want to take a look at the camera. So the cameras on both of these iPads are the same. Okay, So the rear camera is 5 megapixels and it is able to record at 1080p which is high def. Now, whereas the front camera on both iPads are also the same with 1.2 megapixels uh, for pictures and 720p HD video. As for battery life, again, we have the same exact specs. Both iPads claim to have the same amount of battery life, which is 10 hours of usage for Wi-Fi models and 9 hours of usage for cellular models. Now, when we say usage, we're talking about a healthy mixture of browsing the web, reading books, playing around with apps, uh, watching videos on YouTube or iTunes, listening to music, and playing games. But we are talking about a healthy mix of all these things that you can enjoy on your iPad for up to 10 hours on the Wi-Fi model. Now another big thing is the display. Again, we have the same exact specs here. There's no change. So both displays are 9.7 inches and they come with a whopping resolution of 2048 by 1536 pixels which brings the pixels per inch to 264 ppi. So from what we can tell by outlining these specs is the real difference is 
in terms of weight and dimensions and the processing power. Everything else seems to be the same like the screen size and the screen resolution and the battery life and such things. And there's a couple of final things I want to talk about like the connectors on the iPads. Both iPads come with the lightning connector. Now the iPad Air does not come in gold color nor does it come with a touch ID sensor like the iPhone 5S. So those two things uh, which some people were expecting is not going to be there. Alright, so that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. And also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google+, Facebook, and Twitter, for which all the links are in the description below. Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.